Comset Middle School. I'm Alexandra. And I'm Isabella. Welcome to the first edition of the AMS TV News for the 2021 to 2022 school year. Let's check out today's positive message. Today's positive message is, the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain by Dolly Parton. The No Place for Hate Club asked students to take a special pledge. Let's take a look. I will seek to gain understanding of those who are different from myself. I will speak out against prejudice and discrimination. I will reach out to support those who are targets of hate. I will promote a respect for people and help foster a prejudice-free school. I believe that one person can make a difference. No person can be an innocent bystander when it comes to opposing hate. I recognize that respecting individual dig dignity and promoting intergroup harmony are the responsibilities of all students. Thanks. The No Place for Hate Club is also sponsoring an anti-bullying door decorating contest. Teams of two to four students are asked to create a classroom door display that promotes a positive message associated with anti-bullying. The design should be original but can be autumn related. Keep your design one or two dimensional. Only one door display per classroom door. All displays should be hung up by Friday, October 22nd. Please see Miss please see Ryan in room 131 if you need paper or other supplies. Earlier this year, our students and staff remembered those who lost their lives on 9-11. Let's take a look. young teacher who I was a mentor for and in his first week of teaching a few days into teaching this occurred that young teacher that I had that I mentored is now the principal of this building Mr. McNeil he was a brand new teacher at the time and a couple of days into his first year he experienced this Saturday marks the 20th anniversary of September 11th it is important for us to set aside time to remember this tragic event, even though remembering may make us feel sad or angry. One reason that we remember is that we want to preserve the memory of the victims who lost their lives in service of others on this day. In the face of this disaster, we saw courage, firefighters, police officers, and paramedics who rushed to help. We saw selflessness, strangers that helped strangers. We saw love, people from around the world that sent cards and supplies. This is an opportunity to turn something negative into a positive by honoring the good work of those that helped others. Today, look for opportunities to be courageous, selfless, and loving. And if possible, say thank you to those that work hard to keep us safe. Thank you. So let's get started. So Mr. McNeil, this morning, on our announcement, said that he was going to be listening to a webinar today because tomorrow marks the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So we're going to be listening to stories of people who experienced or known people who experienced 9-11. Why is it important to remember and memorialize the tragic events of 9-11? So today we'll be learning about 9-11 through personal stories from 9-11 family members, first responders from FDNY and Port Authority Police Department, and a student on 9-11 through a webinar hosted by the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. Why is it important to remember and memorialize tragic events from 9-11? Go ahead. Right. Yes. That's a good There's a lot of heroism out there, and a lot of people survived that dealt with the aftermath as well. 
that were there as victims of the tragedy and that were there as first responders. Well, can you raise your hand if you know what happened on that day? Have you ever thought about 9-11? Very good. So most of you. It's important for the younger generation to remember 9-11 because, because it has completely shaped the way that the world looks for our generation. I think Red Ribbon Week will take place the week of October 25th. Please participate in this year's Dress Theme Days and take the Drug Free Pledge. On Monday, October 25th, wear your best cozy pajamas to school. Start the week off and take a drug-free pledge in ELA class. On Tuesday, let's celebrate Tropical Tuesday. On Wednesday, team up against drugs and wear your favorite sports jersey or t-shirt. On Thursday, wear something red and top it off with a crazy hat. And on Friday, wear your AMS spirit wear or AMS school colors. If you are interested in being a part of our news team, join the Digital Media Club. We meet on most Tuesdays after school in the library. Please check the club website for our schedule at www.amsdmc.com. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the AMS TV News. Have a great week.